Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. In this video we will use this 2002 Toyota 4Runner. It's a 4 wheel drive. It's a sport edition, you can see it here nicely. It's a pretty cool car, truck. It has approximately 193,000 miles. And I will explain how you will deal with the code P1135 and that code will announce itself in your dashboard with check engine light it will be the track light and VSC light all of them will be on and in this case I took the scanner found the code P1135 for it and when I try to erase it it did erase itself, but it came back within like 15 seconds. So this we will explain later in the video. Now the P1135 is basically for air fuel heater circuit malfunction on bank one sensor one. And that means we are dealing with the sensor, which is before the catalytic converter, not after. That will be an oxygen sensor. Now, before also, if you will be shopping for the part or availability, before the catalytic converter, the catalog might be saying upstream. They will be asking you, is it the upstream or downstream and in this case what we are talking today here about it's upstream where will be on 2002 for an downstream Oop, towards to the back I was backing towards to the back of vehicle this will be the downstream oxygen sensor and I'm trying to help you to diagnose this situation. As you can see, the access is relatively good. So it's on the passenger side of the transmission on 2002 Toyota Forerunner. And the connector from the sensor, which I already disconnected off the camera because I cannot film it down there with my hands inside, was right here. So you can see this is the connector from the vehicle, it's a wiring harness when, when it ends, and this is what you disconnect, that's the part itself. Now please observe with me on the connector, you will always find, this is Denso in my opinion, original direct fit, so you will find a blue, white and two black wires. Now we are speaking about malfunction on the heater circuit. So you will be using your multimeter and touching the connectors on the two black wires. Do you see them right here? These are two blacks. You will ignore the blue and white. So if you look here where it is located, I will zoom on it for you. On the top, these two wires to connectors you will touch them with your multimeter so you will need multimeter that's a second tool in this procedure first was a little scanner even the cheapest one will help you and even the multimeter which Harbor Freight was giving for free in the past even that will work as cheap as possible it will work you put it on the ohms which is resistance and you can see it's open we always before using it we check and touch it and it goes to zeros that means there is a closed circuit and it's closed now what I did and again I don't have anybody to hold it for me the camcorder and so on I took the same probes and I touch these two blacks as I just explained right here and I will tell you what you need to see there in my case that it's complete open no matter how I carefully kept touching probing these two pins towards to that 
AF sensor that is open, the circuit is completely broken, and that explains what I told you uh, in past in this video. When you erase the code, it came immediately back because the ECM the computer knows there's not some kind of resistance which keeps changing with a temperature of the engine and the sensor and so on. It's just completely open, bang. That's why it's so called hard code and it's immediately back and you basically know what's happening. What should be there, what a good one has. Well, if you look in the factory manual, there should be on those two black wires, there should be between 0 0.8 and up to the 1.4 ohms. Now that's a factory manual that changes by the temperature. So at 60 Fahrenheit, when I will all order a new Denso, which is this one, and I did it in the past, because this is common, it's nothing super unusual. When I order a new Denso, perfect oxygen sensor, I actually had slightly above that 1.4, right? The factory manual says, hey, 1.4 is max. But it was 1.8 at 60 Fahrenheit. So we still know that that's okay. What I also would like to share you, what I made notes on this in the past, even 3 ohms, the sensor, the heater circuit will be considered bad if you get a 3, but it will not immediately uh, create that check engine light back. That will take a little bit longer. So hopefully now you know what tools you need and how you can diagnose this problem. It's pretty easy. The replacement, the sensor is held by two nuts, so it's always good to take some PB blaster spray it so it will help you to remove that. And I'm not sure if this owner will deal with it today, so I, I cannot continue this video, but it's just simple, right? You remove that sensor out, put a new one, plug it together, erase the code with your little or expensive uh, scanner and you are good to go. The uh, problem is solved and you can keep enjoying our forerunner. So I hope you find this video helpful. I hope that helps you to do the diagnosis in the case it happens to you. P1135. Thank you for watching. Have a great day my friend.